Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day 10 of Junk Journal Gift Ideas. This is the collaboration with the friendly Junk Journal people, several members there. We started this a couple years ago, Rachel Reed and I, and so we're going back through different prompts for 12 days to give you guys and gals some ideas for Christmas gifts or just gifts in general. Today we're supposed to do something with a napkin and create a journaling card, but we also are supposed to use either a playing card, a, a bingo card, or even maybe like a guest check for, you know, checking out somewhere at a restaurant. Uh, today what I've got is a napkin and I've got these oversized or big box playing cards. They're huge. I thought they'd be kind of fun to alter. So the first thing I want to do is I've got this napkin here and if you didn't know napkins have layers and when you want to decoupage or collage with a napkin you want to separate these layers and you can do that by just gently picking it or you can take like some transparent tape touch it to the back and pull and that will get them to start to separate. So I'm going to do that just by pulling this apart. This napkin looks like it had three layers. Okay, so now that I've got the napkin separated, I'm gonna lay it aside for just a moment and I've got a mixed media mat here. I've got what I call the glue sponge or glue pot and what this is is Aline's tacky glue that I have put into a container with a little bit of water and there's a sponge to help keep it wet. And I'm gonna take my playing card here and looking for something else here. I think I'll just move it in a moment. All right, so I'm gonna paint this glue onto my playing card and just coat the whole thing on one side. I'm gonna clean off my area of wet glue. Then I'm gonna take my napkin and lay it face down. So this is the back side. And I'm gonna grab my playing card and I'm just going to position it somewhat down here in the corner. Make it a little bit of a border on it. That's okay. I'm just going to press it to the napkin gently. All right, I'm going to set this aside to dry for a moment while I prep another card to do the other side. To the other card. <laughs> I can't get my words out, y'all. And I'll put my paintbrush into some water so that that glue can start dissolving. Okay, I'm going to let this dry for just a minute and then I'm going to go ahead and trim all the way around this napkin. I've got a gel print here and I'm just going to cut it to be the same size as my playing cards. Maybe a little bit smaller because I'm going to use it on the back. So I'm going to make it just slightly smaller than the playing card. Okay, so I made this slightly smaller. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to round the corners of this. I'm going to use my Crocodile Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. <laughs> I'm going to apply some Distress Inks to both pieces all the way around. Okay, so I've applied some Distress Inks to both sides of the playing card and one side of the mat that I'm going to put on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do some spraying. I'm going to use some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I've got Peacock, Brass Peacock. This is from the Christmas Peacock Tattered Angel set that I have in my shop. And I'm going to spritz this and it's going to alter the color of this napkin just a little bit. So it's going to add a little bit of shimmer. It's going to darken it, make it kind of look a little more vintage. I'm going to dry this with a heat tool and I'll be right back. I've got one of the stamps from the textured edges. There's four stamps in this set and I've got some jet black archival ink and I'm going to take this and stamp all the way around this pink piece of gel print. just adds a little bit of texture all the way around. It's kind of cool, huh? I've got a couple of Calico Collages little journal cards. I think this is from Exquisite Dreamer. And I'm going to apply some Distress Inks to these. And then I've got, this is a 
word phrases or words that Norella offers, but they come bigger. And I told my computer to print these, the whole sheet as a five by seven. So it shrunk the size down. So it makes it kind of nice to use as an embellishment. I think I'm gonna round the corners of these pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the gel prints to the back sides of my playing card. I've got some lace here, so I'm just kind of laying it out to see how I want to put this together. I think I want to do something where... I think I like that. So what I'm going to do is I want to alter the color of that lace just a little bit. So I'm going to grab some Tattered Angels and let's spritz it. I've got the Christmas Cherry from the Christmas Peacock color. It's a real pretty pink. And I'm going to go ahead and go back with the Brass Peacock. This kind of gives it a little vintage look, and I'll dry it. I don't buy colored lace anymore. I buy white or ivory because I know I can spray it with Tattered Angels and change the color. All right, so let's, let's see here. Let's adhere this piece down. So I'm kind of looking at it probably something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere down the little card. I'm just putting a little dots on the back side of this lace just all over and that'll help it adhere. Sometimes I'll grab an acrylic block and lay that on top. That'll help smoosh that down. All right, and I think this one I'm going to put like that. So I'm going to glue that one down underneath. Oh, I like this. It says, don't forget, and then I have the word gratitude, and I think I'm going to glue that right here so it looks like it's all together. <laughs> and then I've got this one that says friendship, and I think it should go up here. I've got a little butterfly. This is a Beeline Designs, part of the Butterfly Beauties, I think it is, cube. And I've colored it with Tattered Angels, and then I have put some Tulip Dimensional Glitter Paint on top. So let's put that, maybe we'll put one up here. We've got one down here, so let's put one up here. And I've got another one. Let's see where I want to put it. I think like that. I've got some little pearls here. I want to see if I like these enough to use them. Maybe that's what I'll do is I'll put a little above it and then we'll put some below this. I've got a little butterfly here, some of the same stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it on the back side here. So, kind of like that. So, it gives a little bit of a decoration on the back side. Not a lot, just a little. Okay, I think I'm done. I could probably sit here and keep fussing with it, but I like my journal cards to be relatively flat so that they'll fit into a journal and they don't have a lot of bulk to them. So here is what I came up with, which was using an oversized playing card, using a napkin, a digital download, or a couple of them from Calco Collage, some lace, some little pearls here, a rubber stamped image, some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist to change the color of that background. So now the napkin, kind of matches the color of that card. So here it was before I sprayed it. So you can kind of see the difference in the color scheme. And then the backside was a gel print that I had and I didn't have anything on it. So I thought, well, I'll use it and stamp around the edges. So I hope you enjoyed day 10 of the 12 days of junk journal gift ideas. This was using a napkin on a to make a journal cards. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Check the description box below for links to the others that are participating in this challenge of creating a project for 12 days of December. And check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. It's a great group. We have a lot of fun there. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time. And again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Mondays we work on junk journals. On Thursdays we do mixed media. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.